Hi, I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Cindy. And we're here with another Feeding Frenzy for the Four Spiritual Laws of Prosperity by Edwin Gangs, A Simple Guide to Unlimited Abundance. We are on day 13 of, I'm correct, mm -hmm. of chapter 8 in the middle of caring for ourselves and being in integrity. Yes, and today we are doing something new. We are. Why are we doing something new? She says, learn something new, no matter how small. <coughs> Excuse me. She says, learn how to pitch a tent, tie a sailor's knot, bake bread, or say some words in a foreign language you don't speak. I don't think I want to do any of those. You know. Well, I know you're not a baker. No. But I, th I think we do this for free, too. Yeah. We're always learning something. Day. Always. I mean, if you have kids, you can't keep them. Oh, boy, that's a truth. <laughs> but we it reminds me of a text I got from my daughter. <laughs> Yeah, you have to share it. Well, no, you don't really want to share it. She's learning something new. Oh, we'll just okay. Leave it at that. All right. Okay. But I think in, with our jobs, we are always learning something new. Yeah, As a matter always. of fact, that's one reason I have this job, is because I get bored really easy. I love to learn new stuff. Well, when I left that post office job, I literally took the leap of faith of learning something new. Yeah, oh, my did. goodness. I spent about. I don't know, eight months or so, delving into the something new, which started my um, step out of the truck mm -hmm. and onto this new path. But, you know, I didn't have a clue how to do mm -hmm. websites it turned and out well. web development and that kind of thing when I first came up there. But, yeah, it turned out really well. And I was looking at, was working on the site yesterday, and I thought, wow, look at this stuff I can actually mm -hmm. do, you know? And not have to ask questions about it anymore, and it just comes second nature, and yeah, it's come a long way. Yeah, but I think also um, just the studies we're doing, the feeding frenzies, we're constantly learning, constantly new things too. learning new things, and putting them into practice, which yeah. is a big, big thing. Well, and that's what doing the studies really helps us do is put it into practice. Yes, but it's one thing to the to read the book, and it's another thing to sit and talk about it for you know once a week on a. Sunday or something, right? But it's a different thing, different thing entirely, to actually put it into practice, right? And, then and to actually do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I always take something away from it, mm -hmm. and I, I love learning something new. Mm -hmm. Love learning something new. Yeah, it just opens doors. I, I had an aunt years ago give me a wonderful piece of advice, mm -hmm. and it stuck with me. Um, she always said, when she was talking to me about a job, mm -hmm. she said, always apply what you're interested in because you never know what you're qualified for. Mm. And that has stuck with me all along. But it, you know, it applies to everything mm -hmm. in life. If we go after what we're interested in, you never know what you're going to pick up, what you may become the next right. step in your evolution, in your destiny, in right. your path. Or you don't know what opportunities it might unfold. Exactly. You, know, you don't know what exactly. might show up just because you tried this new thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you may find a talent you didn't know you had. Exactly. Exactly. Well, just like mine for computers. I, you know, they were, I picked up on it pretty quick and didn't realize that I had an aptitude for that. Right. So it amazes me that I could get on Amazon at any point in time and I could find that there are so many things I've never even thought about before, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just like to go to Amazon and just just start browsing mm -hmm. at things I never even thought that people are actually interested in that, enough to write books, and I mean textbooks, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, there's a lot of stuff I haven't even touched the surface of yet, you know, or don't even know that exists. It's just amazing how much, the more I know, the more I realize I need to know. Yeah. You know? Well, the, the more, more I, I learn. The more, the more I learn, the learn. more I realize I'm just scratching the surface of me. Mm -hmm. Never mind of what's already been out in the world of me, what I'm capable of. Right. You know, when I think about that I have the possibility to do anything, to be anything, to go anywhere, to see anything. You know, we tell our kids this. But how much do we believe it right. for ourselves? Well, you know? We want to pump them full of possibilities. We want our children to see the possibilities for themselves. But what they learn is what they see. Mm -hmm. So if they see us living our possibilities, then they're going to be more apt to go out on their own. Mm -hmm. you know? And that's one of the biggest things that I've learned as far as you know, my kids go. Yes, I want them to go and find their possibilities. 
But if all they see is me living under limitation, then that's what they're going to adapt for their own lives. Yeah, yeah, good point. You know? So I want them to see me go out on a bridge here or there. And I want them to see me test an envelope. And I want them to see that I found this new thing and it's exciting. Mm -hmm. So that they find their own excitement. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that they um, love to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's one mm -hmm. thing I wanted to instill in my kids more than anything else. Was I didn't care if they learned as much as if they wanted to learn. You know, I think, unfortunately... In a lot of situations, our kids learn to quit learning. Yeah. Um, whether that's through public school or whatever, they just learn to quit asking why and to quit learning and to only be um, consumers instead of creators. Mm -hmm. And I think when we instill that desire to learn, then they learn to be creators. Yeah. And I think that's very important because they, they if we start teaching them there are no limits and they quit putting limits on themselves, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a tricky thing in this society we live in. Yeah, no, it is. And it puts us in so many boxes and puts so many labels on us and um, holds us down in so many ways we don't even realize we're being held down. And then we spend the rest of our lives trying to break those bonds mm -hmm. that are holding us back. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd love to see that change. In my lifetime, yeah, in my kids' lifetime. Well, I know I'm going to see it change for me because I'm yeah. doing it for Oh, me. yeah. Oh, yeah, and I believe yeah. we see a change in our kids yeah. because they see us doing it. Yeah. And I can see a difference in our kids already. Already. That are learning that, wait a minute, I'm looking at this different, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's stand up for ourselves mm -hmm. and um, break some of these limits off. And I can do anything I want to do. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's fun to watch. It is. Yeah. It is. But we have to be on the old saying we have to be the change we want to see right you know and, that, and we have to lead by example we do we do because it's, we can't just tell them oh go out and be president you know if they're not seeing us do what we feel led to do mm -hmm. what we push in our limits you know and stepping out of our comfort zone and i want them to see me a little nervous every once in a while mm -hmm. see me uh, doing things that i, I, really I don't know do. if this is going to happen but yeah we're going to give it our best yeah. shot yeah, yeah. I'm glad they're seeing, you know, my poor kids, I've been telling them I'm going to be a millionaire for all their lives, you know, mm -hmm. and they haven't seen it yet. And sometimes I think, well, they've given up, they believe I'm lying to them, but I'm determined mm -hmm. to show them that I mean it, mm -hmm. you know. I don't know how yet, but I'll get there. Mm -hmm. And I want them to be able to say someday, yep, she always said yep. she would. She said she did it. Yep. So, she said you know. she was going to do it, and she did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We that's the kind of example that I want to be for my kids. Mm -hmm. it's, it's but I'm not doing it for that reason. No, no. I'm doing it for me. Yeah. But that's just an added benefit to it, is that our kids learn to trust us, you know, and learn to see well, our more than they learn to trust themselves. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That's what they that's where their trust needs to be, mm -hmm. knowing they need to know God is their source too. Right. Not just ours, but theirs too. Right. You know. But you know, it's hard to teach them not to depend on us and depend mm -hmm. on God instead. Mm -hmm. That's been a hard one for me, but a very important one. I don't want them to grow up depending on me. No. I want them to no. grow up depending on God yeah. and themselves. Yeah. And um, it's getting easier, especially the older they get and the more they need to let them do, get it on their own instead of coming to me for support and help. Yeah. That's a hard one to get yeah, get over. Is. Let go, but like we talked about yesterday. Yeah, let well, go. it is. It was hard for us to learn too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's hard to let go of that control and that dependency. So, what's something new you're gonna do? Um, well, right now I'm in the middle of a new project, so I'm learning some new stuff about um, some web technology, mm -hmm. um, specifically on text messaging, the phone side, and tying them to the website. So, mm -hmm. I'm excited to learn that and get ready to make a presentation out of it. So. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. I always look forward to learning something new. This yeah. is going to be an easy one for me. Yeah. Really. What about you? Yeah. What are you going to learn? I have been thinking and or do. I want to, there is a cave here that mm. I want to go explore. Okay. And I want to do that. Okay. Probably in the next couple of weeks. All right. And just, you know, to do something new. Okay. Probably have on you ever been in a cave before? 
um, once, but it was so young I don't remember it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. You know, I want to learn something. Something yeah. that's it's scary. Well, it's a little. You know. It's nice. it's it's good. But I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, I want to learn more about where I am. You know, in the region that I am. You know, it's amazing how much stuff is here that I've never right explored. Right. And it's like being from Nashville or close to Nashville. Mm -hmm. Everybody just assumed I'm a country music fan and know all about it and I've probably never been to one of those country mm -hmm. music things in my life, mm -hmm. you know. Well, I'm not a country <laughs> music fan. No. Myself, but no. You know, don't judge me. <laughs> um yeah, maybe that's, that's something new that's, you should do. Well, start listening to country. <laughs> no, I've tried that. I still I'm not a country music <laughs> fan. <laughs> but I, I am going to explore my, the world around me. I yeah. love exploring the world around me. Yeah. Um, so I want to do that. And then I'm also awaiting a book. Oh, Anxiously yeah. awaiting book. a yeah. new book. So. Yeah. 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 That'll be fun. Yeah. It's supposed to be here today. Oh, it's supposed to be here today. All right. Anxiously awaiting that. Yeah. And who knows? It might be a new feeding frenzy. That's right. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's good. It is good stuff. Strange.